This gives nothing is faster than light a whole new meaning. This panel proposes a faster than light communication method. By using the world's brightest flashlight and some shapes, messages could supposedly travel faster than light. Now, the following is a simple experiment any of you could try anywhere. You're shining your phone's flashlight on the wall, and your finger is just in front of the light, and it is casting a shadow on the wall. First thing you will notice is that your finger appears really big on the wall. The second is, if you move your finger just a little bit, you will see the shadow on the wall move a whole lot. The reason for this is that the wall is far away, so even a tiny movement from your finger makes the shadow jump much farther. If you could cast that shadow into the moon, the size of your finger would increase dramatically, and just by moving a little bit, the shadow could sweep the whole moon's surface way faster than light. How is that possible, you might ask? Well, let's break it down. Light is composed of particles known as photons, which travel from source to destination at the speed of light, about 300,000 kilometers per second. This process can be called the transmission of information. Special relativity dictates that we cannot move anything faster than light. But here is the twist. A shadow is not a thing. A shadow carries no energy. It is the absence of information, or simply, nothing. And this is why nothing is faster than light. See what I did there? But before you get too excited and think about sending faster than light messages by changing the shape of the shadow, I'm afraid to inform you that it doesn't work, because the message would still be limited by the speed of the photons reaching or not reaching the moon. While the shadow can sweep across the moon faster than light to trace out a circle or any other shape, the actual information about that shape won't be visible until each photon, or lack of photon, makes its light speed journey from Earth to moon. 